imagine spending a huge amount of money on a line to deliver a cargo to a city that no longer accepts it. I mean, no one's that stupid, right? Right? Hey everyone, it's M4J here and welcome back to From Steam to Electricity here on Transport Fever 2 and we're in the sleepy town here of Stafford with this incredible gradient up this incredible hill. I'm amazed the town actually built that. Um, also, this looks annoying. Might have to flatten that out at some point. But yeah, we're here at Stafford and you remember last time out, I talked about this, the oil well. And we also have over here the oil refinery. And then over here, we have the fuel refinery. And I said, that's great. That's all well and good. Except there's no logical way to set this up as a production chain because there's nowhere that accepts fuel nearby. Well, after the episode, um, I was just running the game, building up some funds, getting ready for the next big project, turn line manager back on, all that good stuff. And then I noticed this. Stone Market has grown. Stone Market has grown to the point that it requires new items one of which is fuel. And that got me thinking, okay, so we can connect all these up, great, but problem. We we fall into the trap again of if we bring oil over here, crude oil, I should say, over here, refine it into normal oil, if that's what you can call it, bring it over to here, then what? Because from here, you can run oil, uh, fuel, sorry, into stone market, but then all of this journey here is done empty. That just doesn't seem very feasible to me. Or at least it didn't until I had a thought. Um, because I basically dismissed that. I thought that's not going to happen. That's not going to work. Then I realized something else. And again, it goes back to Reddit and YouTube comments. Um, I don't know why I keep pausing the game. Apologies, I'll keep it running for this. Uh, I'm just really worried that something's going to close down. But we do get the warnings. And I don't think any of these have the bars over them. No, they do not. So we're okay. Also, that farm closed down. Uh, and as you can see, we kept the road. So happy days. Actually, that's interesting. That's popped up out of nowhere. But the nearest food processor is over there still. So we need a food processing plant to open up for a number of reasons uh, around this area. And then we can get another production chain kicking into gear. Where was I? Oh, yeah. So I was looking at this again. And in my head a couple of episodes ago, a few episodes ago now, in fact, I was talking about splitting lines to save money. Uh, and it turns out I basically misinterpreted what that person was actually saying. Because what you want to do really is have your vehicles carrying stuff for as long as possible. If they're carrying things they can make money from, then, you know, you're going to make money. And from that, I had a realization. I've been doing this all wrong. All wrong. I'm surprised I haven't gone bust already because I've been doing this so wrong. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take one of the log lines that we've established here and we're going to throw it out the window. We're going to completely redo it. And what I mean by that is this. This stop here, we're going to get the logs from here. We're going to take them up here to turn them into planks. We're then going to take those planks. We're going to bring them down here. From here, we're then going to go over to the factory here. We're then going to come back over to here and then we're going to go... Uh, back to the start that is all going to be one line we're going to set that up as one single line we're going to do something similar something wow something similar sorry on the other side here but we're going to add a couple of other bits into it and this one the second one's going to be slightly harder to do because it's going to be logs here turn into planks over to here and the reason we're doing this middle stop is going to become more prevalent in a bit and then it's going to come over here and then from here we could potentially take tools to Scarborough but then we're technically running back empty but I have another thought for that which we'll come to momentarily um, we'll see how that goes now the reason I'm saying that is because that's kind of the warm-up act for what I want to do with this so I want to get crude oil turn it into oil bring it over here turn it into fuel that fuel is then going to get brought this way down into stone market from stone market it's going to run empty over here it's then going to pick up steel that steel is then going to get brought over here where it's going to get dropped off and then from here it will run empty 
back down here to fill up with crude oil again. That's the plan. Now the tricky bit is the tools from here do still need to get brought back over here. And that's where that plan falls flat a little bit as well. Now the other option for that would be to run the tools this way and into Scarborough and then from Scarborough to Stone Market. But I think that's asking a little too much. But the one I want to try first is the uh, the new log line. And we're going to set that up as basically a bit of everything. So this. Uh, also, the reason I want them to stop here again is so that both sets of planks can potentially go to both factories. So if for whatever reason the tool factory up here gets oversaturated, uh, the planks can instead come down here to the machine factory. That's that's the plan for that. Uh, there's no other explanation for it. Um, it's not even that complicated. I don't know why I'm making it sound way more complicated than it is. All right, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. Uh, we'll sort that out in a second. We're then going to come over to this one and then from here we're going to come back to here uh, and it's going to be that and that and then it runs back down to here cool so to set this up logs planks uh, also planks machines and nothing these here we're going to make sure that these are all available terminals there we go and back over here we've got to make sure this is set up correctly so i think it's after this one nope it's after this one there we go so now it does the one-way system right now you are mixed and you're predominantly leatherhead but i think you're entire entirely don't know why i'm saying it like that i think you're entirely leatherhead and we're just gonna do the top right one just to make it easier to find and that's good to go and then uh just as a test bed and this is the risky bit we're going to take all of the vehicles that are currently operating on this line and we're going to stick them on this line instead there we are. So they will start transferring across now. Um, and if I select you, rate of 62, frequency of 47 seconds. So that needs improving, but it's a good start. And the main thing is the fact that there are logs appearing here means that that side of the chain is set up correctly. And if I choose this one, nothing over here yet, but that might be because these are now running. Oh, no, that's still got stuff on board, actually. So that could be fine. And yes, planks there and then if i come over here we should have machines hopefully start appearing on that line as well now because of that i can now come back over here uh, and you are three and four so we can go bye and bye so now it's only machines uh that, no wait sorry it's only the green line that will inherit machines that's what i meant to say i'm just checking that i did select machines yes and i think we have over here yeah there are machines here going into leatherhead so that is working good stuff uh and then this should start well the line should make money at some point uh, where's another one that's potentially on that line? We don't really have any. What's this stuff? Is that what machines look like? Apparently, maybe, somewhat, sort of. I don't know. Um, another good thing about doing this, of course, is if we can get it working, it does in fact shorten the, uh, or not shorten, but it, it reduces the number of lines is what I'm trying to say, so that vehicles will still come in at the same rate but there's less lines, so there's less chance of traffic, in my head at least. But again, that could be very wrong indeed. So this has inherited basically all of the other operations that were going on around here, which is cool. Now if we can do the same thing for this, this, over here, and then if we can find something from here to bring back, to be honest, this, 
this would have been a good candidate for bringing fuel back but it just doesn't quite work what would be great is if we'd got this up and running and brought construction materials over here then that could have been taken to both Cockermouth and Stafford and that would help those grow but for now at least we could get the oil section here running that's not a bad place to start uh, and it starts bringing money in and then from there it makes it a lot easier to expand where's the cheapest place I can put this I think just here like so. Uh, so yeah, we definitely don't have one way roads yet. Which is slightly annoying, but never mind. Right, so we're going to do that. And then over here, we'll go with a double. But again, that's probably over-investing right now. But we'll go with that. And we'll do this. So right now, this is just a crude oil line. We'll go there to there. You are black as night. There we go. And you are just taking barrels. And for now, I am going to still select that just for when we do get it running. Uh, and you are crude oil Stafford. There we go. We'll get a vehicle running. Uh, oh, one more thing. Save myself a bit of effort. We'll do something like this. There. Right, cargo, horse drawn wagon. And uh, off you go. So this should now start appearing. There we go. Excellent. So this will keep these two open at least. And then once we can start getting the oil from here all the way up and over to here we'll have to build some uh, bypasses in tempted to link this up to that as an option or somewhere around here because I'm bearing in mind that there might be a railway coming through here still at some point in the future so uh, I'm trying to keep things open for that I'm still just trying to chain it together so it'll be from here over to here and then it'll be a long single line could even use this route temporarily but then it has to go through Cockermouth so I think from here we'll build a new road over to here and then even if it uses this bit it's not as bad uh, and then it'll stop at this stop here so this leatherhead transfer it's it's living up to its name for sure uh, and then from there it'll come out this way round I think we said didn't we into Stowe Market and I'm pretty certain where I've built this now. Oh, there's one industry. Are you serious? One industry. That's why it's so low. Was it eight? Yeah. That's incredibly low. But yeah, it'll drop off here anyway. And then it'll run empty for this section. Pick up steel or whatever it is. Bring it all the way through. Over to here. Which I guess works. It's just then the tools have to get taken back separately. And that's the bit where it becomes a bit of an issue. I'm like, how do you how do you make up for that? Well, we've got money. Let's just uh, scooch this. There we go. And then select all and do that again rate of 39 76 seconds apart it's not too bad it just gets it going a little bit quicker I mean what else can we so if the tools came this way into stone market then I guess it could pick up steel there and bring it back but then that's what we're doing anyway so yeah that doesn't work does it so the fuel comes from here down through this way over to stone market that's where it picks up the steel, or it will come over here to pick up the steel. Brings it over here. Tools then get brought back. Something else needs picking up. We could pick up more coal. Uh, and bring that over here. Because right now, this runs empty, does it not? 
You just unload. No, you don't. You pick up something. What do you pick up? Do you pick up? You pick up steel. But then, where do you take that steel? You take it over here. Ah, see? So we're actually, we're kind of, okay. I think we're going to use this coal line then as the, uh, the return. So tools will get brought this way. And then uh, coal will get brought back. Because the tools technically only have to be brought to here. Because there's a separate tool line that could do the rest. Or we do go the full hog. And then we pick up coal here or here. Oh man. I'm, uh, I'm, I think I'm overcomplicating this now. Let's start tracing this out. So it'll be oil. Crude oil. That is crude oil, isn't it? In the barrel. Yeah. Oil. Fuel. Round the long way. Empty. Over here. Steel. Or over here, steel. And then that gets brought over here. No, sorry. Over here. Unloaded. And then that's technically that line done. But from here, we could then pick up tools. Bring it back to here yeah see i think that's a separate line i think at that point that has to be a separate line because we've completed the circle steel gets picked up from possibly this stop here although maybe for simplicity's sake um we keep this coal and steel line here so steel will get picked up here brought over to here dropped off and then it will just come back down here to the start then a separate line tools will get picked up here brought into stone market and then on the way back it will stop to pick up coal and then bring that over here and then this steel will then get taken up there to get turned into yeah that works right have I got that right I think I've got that right that sounds good to me so I, I kind of want to get on and, and do it uh, before we go bust, I was about to say, but that seems to have already happened. How much does that cost? 59 grand. That's not cheap. That's 10. That's alright. 14. Come on. Give me the money. Give me all the money. I'm noticing less and less people are using our passenger routes as well now, so we might have to uh, see what's going on with that. Like this one, for example. 65 and 16. So to get to Cockermouth, only, well, 35% are, are taking themselves still. And that could potentially block up these roads, which is less than ideal. Right, pause. Or well, run it in normal speed, then pause. So this already is going to get changed. So over here, it's going to turn into uh, oil. That oil is then going to get brought all the way up here. And it's going to go like this. And it's going to go like this. And then it's going to go like this. That's then going to come all the way down this way. Over to here. And then here it's going to go here. And then it's going to go here. Correct? I believe that's correct. So this is going to be fuel. This one is just unload. That's fine. This one is going to be steel. And then this one is going to be unload. So it runs empty twice, but that's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. Now, if I've done this correct, knowing me, I haven't. Nope, I have not. So it's three or five. It's probably going to be five. That's the problem. Nope, it's three. Remember, in is two, out is one. That's how it works. Cool. So you are now mixed. And your origin is Stafford, so I'm going to leave that as your thing. Now, your rate is atrocious. We need to absolutely bombard this with, uh, with vehicles, which we'll do momentarily. Now, before I forget, one of these tool lines... Probably this one. 
So Cockermouth Annex here is going to get uh, removed as part of this project. So it's going to be picking up tools from here. They get brought down into Stow Market. And then from Stow Market, it's up here to pick up coal. That gets brought down here. And then that steel gets brought back up here. That's what happens. That's sounds correct to me. So if I actually if I do it from here, this is not going to be heavily used. This right, or it is going to be heavily used, but you know what I mean. Like it's not like 16 different lines are all going to come out trying to use that at the same time. Awesome. So now I need to remember just what the hell's going on here. So this. This here, it's this coal line. I think this is might, might be what I repurpose, you know? So instead of coming to Cockermouth Annex, it's going to come up here to Cockermouth East. And then those tools are going to get brought all the way along. And to be honest, I'm tempted just to drop them here still. Because we've got this tool line that still does its thing. And then we're not running empty for quite as long. But then this line here is running empty for some time. That's the tricky bit, you see. That is the tricky bit. Right. Let's take these here. I've got to remember. Let's just pin you for a second. And then this one. We're going to bring you over here. So you are coal cockermouth. So all the vehicles on this line are going to get transferred to coal cockermouth. There we are. And then the other line, which is this one. Where does this one go? Over here. All these are going to get transferred to the mixed one over here. Yep. And then the other line, this one. These are going to get transferred to Cold Cockermouth as well. I think I've done that right. We'll find out in a second, won't we? So, Cockermouth Annex is going to get removed. As is this one. So, it's going to go Lower Cockermouth. That's fine. Stafford Exchange. That's fine. Here, you're going to get refitted for steel. Correct? Yes. And then over here, you're going to run there. And you're going to get refitted for tools. And then from here, you're going to run, I guess, via Cockermouth, but you know what I mean. Um, down to Stone Market. And yeah, that's where you'll unload. So we've got tools going to Scarborough and stone market we've got machines going to scarborough and stone market and we now have fuel going to stone market but we still need f uh, food to get delivered there but i guess that's next on the list now you notice i went straight to stone market there so this last bit here they are running empty which is slightly annoying but it'll have to do and to make up for that uh oh yeah that line's already been done so that's fine so this tool line here we're going to take all of these vehicles as well which I've already done it seems okay well that's useful so now while I remember this line here we can get rid of this line here we can get rid of there we go so this should be just mix Stafford now and what are you picking up here steel correct from this Oh, auto save. I thought the game had crashed then. That would have been annoying. Yeah, so that's where you pick up steel, which is fine. So you've got a rate of 150. You've got a rate of just 25 at the moment, but that should increase. Um, and then over here, this line, we can also get rid of. Cool. And then we'll remove that as well. So if I now unpause... Things should start happening, I hope. So this one over here. Yes, yeah, so you've got stuff on board. How many vehicles do you have? I don't think you can... Is there a way to tell? I don't think there is. 
At least not on this screen. On this screen there is. 44. So we could double that easily. And, you know, the rate still won't be very good. But I guess we're just chaining stuff together now. That's the, uh, the aim of the game. So if I've done all this right, and I probably haven't, we've now got logs from here being transported up to here, turned into planks, brought via this stop over to here. No, sorry, over to here, where it's turned into machines with the steel that's coming from this direction. Um, that then gets brought down into this stop here, and then the, the separate line takes it into town. And to be honest, we could probably do that part as the same line as well, but we'll just do it like this for now, because why not? Meanwhile, we have another line that brings crude oil over to here, turns it into oil. That oil gets brought very long way, and I actually I do need to build this shortcut over here still. Um, but it gets brought up here where it gets turned into fuel, and I'm just checking one more time. That does serve that. Excellent. Uh, that fuel then gets brought all the way around this way to Stone Market where it gets dropped off. We then come over here where we pick up steel, and that steel gets brought over here where it's turned into tools. Just checking that, yep, yeah, that is still listed as a supplier. Good stuff. The coal here gets brought over to here where it's turned into steel. That steel is then brought up to here where it's turned into tools. That set of tools is then brought all the way along into here where it's then brought back. Now, for now, these tools and these tools do not mix. We could, in theory, bring tools up and down and things like that but we're not going to right now i am just keeping a little eye on this as well now line manager does have a congestion control and i had a look at the manual and it does say if it detects that vehicles are congested in a line it will sell some to try and free things up again now the congestion is actually being caused by this turn here if i was to rebuild all this and do it properly like i have done over here it shouldn't be an issue but yeah, it is what it is. Also, just check in that you are still... Yep, seems you are still supplied. And we've got both sets of planks, which is excellent. It's all looking good. Hopefully then... And again, Cardinal Sin. I know you shouldn't use this as reference. But hopefully these will all start doing what they're meant to do. Now we have still got this old line here that for now is just going to stay doing what it's doing as well just checking you do you return empty yeah you don't pick up tools so that's going to be l losing money for half of its journey but eventually it will uh, be kitted out the rest uh, kitted out sorry the same as the rest the real winner here would be if a new logging camp opens is it a forest yeah if a new forest opens up in this area here because then we can just pick up logs again bring them back down here to the sawmill and we won't even need to have two lines connected here anymore that would be the ultimate win i mean look at the there is traffic here that is quite a lot of traffic and it's starting to hold up the passengers as well and i don't think there's actually room to upgrade this road because of the way this is set up so we'd have to start building bypasses and things so i think this stop here is going to get moved to somewhere around here but build it close enough still that it, it works with that. We'll have to see about that. One more thing then, before we start wrapping this episode up, and this might be the longest part of the video, because we're going to have to try and build a bypass to avoid going through Cockermouth. So if I build it out like this to start with, just give me the money. Just need a couple of vehicles to stop. I did notice uh, with the iron ore vehicles, I was just watching them coming into the steel mill. And by that, I mean the ones over here. 13 grand each they get when they drop off, which is exceptionally good. I'm very happy with that. That's like the biggest win when that pays off. 13 grand every time one of those comes in. Bearing in mind a new horse horse-drawn carriage is like i think seven or eight grand something like i don't know i've just pulled that number out of thin air i'm probably very very wrong where's the nearest depot one of these 23 grand so we're over halfway there 
just from one delivery of iron ore, which is very nice indeed. Don't actually know where I'm building this to. I think it's going to be to this road over here. This might be a period where we just lose money hand over fist for a little bit. Another mod that I've enabled, by the way, uh, which you might see start happening, because I really want to start paying this loan off, because it's costing me quite a lot of money. Let's check. Yeah, that's working. Uh, I can't actually show you it on here, I don't think, but I've got a mod that starts automatically paying off the loan. So if we hit 500,000, it should do a repayment. And if we drop into the minus, which we do regularly, it'll borrow money to offset that. Although I think I have that turned off right now. But the mod does let you do that. Um, which is quite a nice feature, I feel. Right, what are you carrying? You're carrying steel. You're not carrying tools. Why are you not carrying tools? And better yet, why are you carrying tools? tools because you're supposed to that's why because you're coming over here that's why I'm smart I know what I'm doing I promise it's so your consumers right now is just stone market uh, that's because you're not supposed to carry yeah you're not supposed to carry anything that's why you're fine I will get my head around this. Right now it's very, very scary and confusing. But I promise you I'll get my head around this. And actually just for sake of argument here. To get things loading and unloading quicker. Because at the time we built this of course there was only one line coming through. Whereas now there are two. So we need a second berth here for uh, traffic flow. And again this could probably benefit from having... Um, a one-way system but it's not as bad the one-way system really is better when you've got um, lines coming in from different angles so like if we had a line coming in from the right here as well as the left it would make more sense to set this up as a one-way system but right now it's fine so that is half production right now and then it'll start upgrading in time of course Okay, so yet another episode goes by without any trains or, um, or anything exciting, I was going to say. But lots of excitement is happening, of course. I, I, I never advertise my videos as being boring. If there's one thing I, uh, I do advertise them at, it's a bit wacky and a bit crazy and stuff happening all the time, but never boring. How is the rate here 91? But I guess because we had lots of vehicles rerouted, so they've all come in at the same time. That's why we've got this queue. Because they're actually on this side of things they're bunched out quite evenly which makes a lot more sense I'm very glad I've got this one way system set up because the traffic over here is going to increase in time right we've got planks waiting there excellent you're the fuel one aren't you so you're not expected to have anything here yet but you can see it's, things are starting to happen we've got crude oil and we've got actual oil it would be good if I could see a vehicle, like if here as well, if it showed you what it was carrying. Devs, if you're watching, or if modders, if you're watching. That would be handy. So you're a plank, you're a log. Somewhere there's one that shows... Maybe if I can try and catch one on the bypass. There we go. So you should be carrying oil. Excellent. So I just want to see how much money this actually makes when it arrives and drops off. I'm hoping quite a lot because from here over to here the road does tend to follow the straight line that we've established which is encouraging it's your this one here are you not seven six nine yes wow we have a lot of road vehicles i don't know what it's up to now but if i do this seven seven eight and i think there are some that have been sold along the way so it's a little bit less than that right now but I mean that's still a lot and line managers doing its thing which is good I think the lag like when the game just hangs for a second I think that is line manager running its sample it's not meant to do that but I think that a combination of loads of vehicles loads of lines and my PC being about as old as a uh, a year one student if you're in the UK, you know how old that is. Um, it, it all adds up. Right, we're about to go in. So it's minus 3,900 at the moment. 
Oh, I'm an idiot. I've just realised something. So when you come around the first time, you don't need to do this. You just go straight in. Why did I... I don't know how I didn't think of that before. Hopefully that's not the same for other lines. No. So, minus 3,900. And boom, 12 grand for that alone. Exceptional. So now you... It is a one-to-one -one ratio, so that's good. And you are creating... Now what's worrying is... Did you refit? To fuel. You did not, but I'm wondering if that's just because there wasn't any waiting. And because of this... Now he says that, but there is actually... Uh... Oh, do you know what it is? Yeah. It's exactly what I thought. Well, this is the risk you play when you do this, is um, there is no fuel accepted in Stone Market again. So that means they're going to run all the way around this side for no reason whatsoever. So that's going to be a massive, massive, massive loss. As long as it doesn't go below this, by the time it reaches over here, we might be able to salvage something from this. But yeah, that's actually... Quite disappointing. We'll see if we can um, salvage that. Could maybe make up for it by from here. It comes over and picks up tools. And brings them down and round. But I don't know. It is what it is. That's actually kind of a disappointment uh, to end the episode on. It's kind of a disappointing end. That's not really what I was expecting. I was wondering why it wasn't refitting. I was like, what's going on there? But yeah, we've been screwed by the game. Which is something that... that like I said, it will happen from time to time. The main thing is, um, it could be worse. So from here over to here, and then down to here, it's not going to pick up anything. Oh, the more I say that, the more it hurts. Believe me. And we need to get this rate up considerably higher. If any of these other towns around here want to start accepting fuel. There is actually a mod I was looking at. Where uh, if you supply passengers to a town, then the passenger buildings, or the residential buildings in this case, and commercial, will grow. But if you supply industry to a town, so here for example, we've got this stop where it's all dropping off. Um, that will increase the industrial side of a town, so more industries will grow. I'm just noticing these buildings are popping up, but they're all machines. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. I mean, at least the demand for machines is increasing. But I was so excited when I saw fuel. Because that was the answer to the problem. But I am just going to keep this going as it is for now. Because we are still making money. So it's not the end of the world. And I might look at getting that mod installed. And see if that grows things. But yeah, otherwise, damn. Damn and blast. Do we still have the bus line set up? Yeah, to Scarborough. Excellent. That might become a thing we run in the near future as well. Because uh, there are people transporting themselves between the two. And I'm also really tempted to get the coffee beans from here over to here. It's just what do you do with this bit? And then how do you bring something back to make money? That's the big question. Grain from here over to here as well would be good. And then I guess these two could combine into one. And then over here and then food could get brought back to Stafford. I don't know. And leatherhead. I'm going to end the episode because uh, I am think I'm going to go cry about the fact that we've just lost fuel in Stone Market. Because, <laughs> again, there's probably people in the comments going, yep, that was always going to happen. So these vehicles now are going to lose a ton of money on their way back. Could just, for now, take off the, um, the Stone Market leg. But then it's still got to run from here all the way down here to pick up steel. And where are we now? I think we've just entered Stone Market. So actually, that's not too bad. Oh, that lag. I think that's line manager running. And the fuel could always come back at any point. And at that point, we're set up and ready to go again. This is a bit of an alarming queue, though. We do have three lines coming through here. So that could be part of it. Although... Oh, wait. You're set up now, aren't you? So you need to be renamed. Uh... Mixed. Whoops. Mixed. Cockermouth. And again, just put you that nice colour. As you carry a little bit of everything. Um, yeah. 
Hopefully we'll get fuel back here. I'll let you guys know. And I'll also see if I can do something about this. Because that's quite a traffic problem. It's not affecting buses right now. But again, these vehicles cost money to just sit there doing nothing. So I'll see what I can do about that. For now though, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course if you're enjoying, uh, enjoying sorry, the series so far. Um, drop those comments down below with ideas for future episodes. Or if you've got feedback or anything like that. If there is a way to promote growth of industrial buildings in a town by all means let me know that'd be very handy indeed um but yeah otherwise uh if you haven't already subscribed to the channel be sure to hit be sure to hit the subscribe button i'm tripping over my words now i'm so sad um if you have already subscribed to the channel thank you for your continued support enjoy the rest of your evening and until next time from a incredible loss leading vehicle i will see you soon